Hey guys, welcome back to Prep Talk. Or Jeep Talk. Yeah, that's kind of my intro for these Jeep things, isn't it? Um, we just crossed the state line into Oklahoma. We're now on Oklahoma Highway 1. And it got me thinking about boundaries. So today, that's what we're going to talk with, talk about. So stay with me. Hey guys, as usual, before we get started on prep talk, let's bow our heads for a word of prayer and then we'll get back to the Jeep. Father, today we pray for many people. We have several viewers who have family members with health problems. We ask for each and every one of them to be touched by your healing hands. We have people in financial trouble who are living off their preps. We ask you to help and bless them. They have not asked for help, only prayers. Um, and we just ask you to pour out your mercy and your blessings to them. We ask you to be with the people today whose lives are in turmoil, who are facing personal issues that are rough and sometimes they can't see a way out. Please go with them, keep them, and as ever we ask your blessings on our veterans. Please be with them, hold them in your arms, and help them get through. Amen. All right, guys, let's get back in the Jeep. <clears throat> so, yeah, I've just uh, jumped the state line into Oklahoma. We're actually running the uh, Talamina Scenic Drive. Wanted to come up here and take some time to let things go. Take a breath. Some of you asked the, uh, the five weeks, four or five weeks that I did not put up a prep talk. You asked if everything was okay. You asked if what was going on. I've been kind of vague about it, and I'm still going to continue to be vague about it. But I'm going to say this. Boundaries are good. Whether it's a fence line to mark your property or to keep your cattle in, to keep your horses in, to keep your goats in, your dogs. That fence is a boundary. With people, it can be a little bit different. Sometimes it's a behavior that we see that we are uncomfortable with. Sometimes it's something in a person that you realize I can't have this person on my team or I simply cannot tolerate being around this person for an extended period of time and you put up a wall you put up boundaries you put up a distance sometimes you are friends with a person, but you have to say this far and no further. If you ask me to do 
something illegal, the friendship is over. If you ask me to do something I'm uncomfortable with, we're done. And that's perfectly acceptable. Boundaries are acceptable. I mean, you wouldn't go a, down a highway, come to a hairpin turn, get out of your car, and cut off the guardrail, would you? You want that boundary there. It's to help keep you safe. Putting up boundaries is good. Sticking to your boundaries is harder. I'm going to encourage each and every one of you today that if you are in a situation with someone and you are being asked to do something that you are morally uncomfortable with, ethically uncomfortable with, and if it is truly something that matters to you, put yourself first. Take the time to Put that boundary in place and you don't have to go and say Jim if you ever do this again we're not friends no more no you don't have to do that you just have to say to yourself if Jim asked me to do this I'm done about Seven years ago, I had a brother, a best friend. We actually met in first grade, started going to school together in a fifth grade when I changed schools. By sixth grade, he and I had keys to each other's houses. His parents were my parents, my parents were his parents. About seven years ago, I went back home, saw him, his child, and he went out to go do something and left me there with his wife and his baby and his roommate. And a little while later, I get a text, hey, you wanna help me beat this guy up over rent money? And I texted him back, you better be kidding. This better be a bad joke. Call me. And he did. And he told me this story about how this guy was behind in his rent and his landlady wanted something done about it, blah, 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 blah. And I said, dude, this sounds like the plot from a bad movie and this is not happening. You better get home, you better not be involved in this and this better be the truth. months later in the paper he had been arrested for breaking into someone's house and robbing him taking money and drugs and a few other things I 
I was contacted by the police and they asked to try to access my phone. They went through the proper procedures. Unfortunately, the entire conversation had been somehow lost. I couldn't find it. They couldn't find it. And I don't delete things from my phone. That was the last time he and I ever spoke. It's okay to put up boundaries. Trying to, commit, to get one of your oldest friends to commit a felony with you is definitely a deal breaker in my book. Period. Particularly in that one. Are you kidding me? speak again. I ran into a mutual friend a few years back and we were talking and he said, you know, so-and-so believes that you two are going to be friends again and this is all going to blow over. No, it's not. It's okay to have boundaries. It's okay for you as a human being and an individual to protect yourself. It's okay for you to say this far and no further and then move on when and if someone goes past that line. You have every right to that. So I'm going to encourage you, again, don't be afraid to set limits, don't be afraid to set boundaries, and don't be afraid to hold to them. Even if it changes your life forever, don't be afraid Take care, guys. See you next time.